We want everything now, convenient. We don't want to spend time meal prepping. We want to drive through, we want to grab it now, we want to have it in our mouths now. We want five minute abs. I'm sorry, it doesn't work like that and I'll never say that it works like that. practice what I preach. Would you want to learn how to fight from someone who read a book about fighting? Or do you want to learn how to fight from somebody who's had their ass kicked? I didn't just read a bunch of books about diet and nutrition. I spent eight years trying out different things. I was a skinny kid trying to gain muscle mass, you know, bulk up a little bit. And then I was a little bit thicker and I was trying to cut down 20 pounds to box. So I've done a little bit of both and I've learned a lot along the way. Fueling for performance and fueling for lifestyle, just general lifestyle, overall health and well-being. Don't even know where to start. Basics, please. Eating wholesome, unprocessed foods that are as close to their natural state as possible. Your fats can come from avocados, nuts, seeds, cottage cheese, eggs, vegetables. It's not a bad vegetable or a bad fruit that you can eat. There's no nutritional label on a vegetable or a fruit. It's a fruit. It's a vegetable. It's healthy for you. It is close to its natural state. If you can take in more fruits and vegetables, that's going to be highly beneficial to your, your just overall well-being. Meats, if you're into that thing, eh, I don't really care too much for red meats. So I stick it to the lean meats, you know, chickens and salmons, chickens and salmons. And I don't eat, I don't really eat a hell of a lot of chicken and salmon. I do get a lot of protein from other sources like, like legumes, um, beans, mung beans, lentils. You know, there are other ways to get protein. Kale, if you have ever seen a silverback gorilla, like, 85% of their diet, if not more, 90% of their diet is kale. Kale is packed with, fucking loaded with protein. You can get carbohydrates from vegetables as well. Simple grains like jasmine rice, black rice, quinoa. I like rice cakes. Rice cakes are pretty dope. They're like my, my healthy croutons in my salad. They give my salad a little bit of crunch. Whenever you're eating the correct balance of foods that's what you can really experience instead of that slow lethargic sleepy feeling so give us some tips on cutting out like bad habits fast food sugar high soda sugar do you need sugar will you die without fulfilling your sugar craving no you will not <laughs> therefore you don't need it it's very simple in theory it's, it's more difficult in practice. What I want you to really think about is to change your environment to work for you. A lot of us, we have already pinpointed our problem. Chips, chocolate, soda, soda fries. fries. <laughs> You've pinpointed them already. That's half the battle in itself. Those are your barriers getting in the way of you and your, your I guess, your long-term goal of this sustainable, healthy lifestyle. Um, sure, you could go get in your car and, and, and go buy it and, and you can immediately have it, but that's where that self-discipline comes. Boredom eating. If you find yourself stuffing your face when you're bored, one, get a hobby, do something productive, go outside, clean something, get your mind off of it. Honestly, I can't even remember the last time I've ever been bored. I don't even know what that feels like. If you're sitting around enough to be bored, odds are you probably have some things that you can do. Now, as far as mentally, if you find yourself, you know, thinking, it's time to eat, I'm hungry, okay? You're hungry. Go to your fridge. If you've done this correctly, you should have your fridge filled with fresh produce. If you pull out some broccoli, maybe an apple, 
okay, you're hungry, eat that. If you pull it out and you decide you do not want to eat that, you're not hungry, you're just bored. See, it's these simple little things that just come down to self-discipline. It's all of these little barriers that are just standing in front of you. And when people say, I want to eat better, I want to make these changes, but how do I do it easier? It's bullshit. It's like saying that you want to run a marathon, but you don't want to train for it. It doesn't work like that. I'll say the first week to two weeks is, it's a little bit of an adjustment period, but that's going to be your test to kind of see, is this something that you really want to do? Now, what happens also whenever you're eating these highly processed foods, you know, they, they taste good or so you think. You're eating all these like sauces and seasonings and like sugars and powders and MSG and God only, chemicals, God only knows what they are. Fructose syrups. So you've essentially, you've spoiled your palate. You've spoiled, you've spoiled your natural taste buds in your mouth. So whenever you start eating real food, you're like, oh, this is terrible, this is awful, I don't want to eat this. You have to sit with that for a little while until you can rebuild your palate to appreciate these tastes. Eat, eat the fruits and vegetables that are within season. One, they're higher in nutritional value. Two, they're gonna taste better, which leads me into a budget aspect of eating well on a budget. I understand the financial aspect. I've been broke off my ass. I've been homeless, but food has always been at the tip top of my priorities, okay? And somewhere along the lines, food has kind of made its way down people's priorities on their on their financial checklist. Do we drink alcohol? I mean, we don't not drink alcohol. I'll say that. I used to be an alcoholic, a full-fledged functioning alcoholic for several years of my life. Enjoying a glass of wine with dinner, not the end of the world. Going out on, on benders even once a week, it's out of the question. That's where you just need to ask yourself, is alcohol more important to me than living a healthy lifestyle and, and reaching my health and fitness goals? Is it? Is it not? Is it? Is it not? Only you can really answer that. Give it everything you got. It's that simple. Don't half-ass it. If this is your goal, go at it all ass a hundred percent as far as foods for more energy goes i'm just so tired i'm lethargic that kind of ties back in with the whole eat better quality foods eat better quality foods and it will nourish you it will energize you if you're eating low quality food you're gonna get low quality energy and results fuel your body better you're gonna have more energy. I've, I work a nine to five. I put a fucking suit on. I go out and I do the stupid sit in a car grind and I work the nine to five. I'm up at four in the morning. I'm preparing my foods for the day because I prioritize. If you can prioritize your life, lay out your meals, you're going to eat better produce. You're going to get better energy. You're going to have improved cognitive function. Some people go to sleep tired. They wake up tired. It doesn't matter if they sleep 10 hours, 12 hours. They're gonna go to sleep tired and they're gonna wake up tired. A lot of these baseline issues come from you're, you're just not fueling your body correctly. All right, as far as cooking, as far as cooking for yourself goes, I, my general rule of thumb is cook more than you don't. This should not be a task. It shouldn't be a chore. It should be enjoyable. Make it. Make it like a ritual, a routine, something that you enjoy. If you fucking hate it, you're not gonna be able to keep it up, okay? It needs to be something that you at least thoroughly enjoy. Also, there's not a one size fits all diet. If I say I like to eat chicken, spinach, and blueberries, you're like, fuck, I hate chicken, spinach, and blueberries. Well, do you like salmon, kale, and grapefruits? Yeah, okay, there you go. That's gonna be your lineup. Okay, this is, this is not like a, a formula that's only one thing fits, okay? You can find something that fits for you. It needs to be something that you can eat and you can eat consistently. This is not a diet. 
this is just a healthy lifestyle. The greatest thing is, you know exactly what's going into your food. You know exactly how you're preparing it. You can prepare it well and you can prepare it right. It's that, that overall mixture of flavors that the fruits, the vegetables, and the meats all bring together that gives you that full, the full palate, all the taste. So as far as like efficient timing of eating, the way that I view it is if you were eating, as I, as I preach, <clears throat> you were eating wholesome, unprocessed foods as close to their natural state as possible, you're gonna be more in sync with your, with your primal being, okay? Meaning, when you're hungry, you eat. You eat until you're 80% full, and then that extra 20% that's left over, that's that room that your body needs to kind of digest that food and keep you energized. When you've gotten so used to eating all of these highly processed foods, or not even foods, again, items, I'll call them items, whenever you've eaten these things, your body doesn't know what's going on. Your body does, your brain does not register what's, what you're intaking. It doesn't know how to convert that into fuel. That's why you feel slow. You won't need to sit here and think, okay, I need to eat right now. Okay, I, uh, I, I need to eat exactly 20 minutes after I finish this. No, you eat when you're hungry. Postmates, I think that Postmates is the epitome of laziness. It is unbelievable to me that human beings have to have food hand delivered to their door, handed to them. They can't even walk out their fucking door to go and get food. I guess it's just my, my primal instincts in me that you need to like go out and hunt food and you have this entitlement that you can just throw money and, and somebody's gonna bring food and to your front door. It's, it's the epitome of laziness and there is no fucking room for it at all. Are you still on a purely Elizabeth kick of one bag a day? So I'm getting called out right now. Uh, cheat meals. If I am feeling something sweet, I go for banana, almond butter, faye, Greek yogurt, and, and then granola. So purely Elizabeth or great Nola. Those are the only two, the only two granolas that I'll touch. You don't answer the question. What's the question? How Cheat many meals? bags of granola do you have a week? A week? Four. He has around four. Three to four. Ah, he has around four. Three to four. Okay. He eats a fuck ton of granola. Okay. 